Hey, what's up? It's me, Colton Dunn. I play Garrett on Superstore and Brett on Parks and Rec. And just like you, I've been stuck in my house the last couple weeks, and maybe, like you, I've been spending a little bit too much time in the kitchen. So I decided I'm going to make a cooking show. And then I thought, why don't I make dishes inspired by my favorite NBC shows? Okay, that last part came from a social media person at NBC, but I'm game. I'm bored. I got nothing to do. I figure you're in the same boat. Let's make something. Today we're going to be making Superstore Guacamole. This dish is inspired by Season 2, Episode 3, Back to Work, where Marcus gets his thumb cut off and it ends up in a package of guacamole. The last time we saw the thumb, it was in a tub of guacamole, but then we found this open tub of guacamole on the floor, so it could be a different guacamole, or else it could be the same guacamole, but the thumb fell out. So the thumb could either be in a guacamole or it could be anywhere. Any questions? Yeah, uh, is it just regular guacamole? It's easy to make, it's super fun to bring to parties once the quarantine's over. Until then, you could just make it and eat it by yourself on the couch. All right, let's talk ingredients. Here's what you're gonna need. Three avocados, one onion, two tomatoes, a lime, some garlic, salt, cilantro, and optional cayenne pepper. And let me tell you, I can't wait to eat this guacamole. I'm really sorry about that. So first we do the avocados. Now I do own this handy thing, which is made specifically to cut open avocados. But if I was to use it here, Ben Feldman, well, he would make fun of me and I can't be made fun of by that guy. So I'm not going to use my special avocado thing. Instead, I'm just gonna go for a knife. Now remember, if you're a kid, do not use any knives in the kitchen without supervision of an adult. Always be safe. So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife, you're gonna kinda of line it up with the little middle area of that avocado. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna scoop out the avocado with a spoon, okay? And you're gonna scoop all of the avocado that you have into a bowl. Okay, and while you're mashing those avocados, you're gonna add your lime juice and your salt. And then you just keep on mashing away. I like mine to look like that. And then it's time to cut the tomatoes. Okay, once you clean and peel your onion, you're ready to cut that little bad boy up. So now I know Ben Feldman is going to make fun of me, but I'm cutting onions and it's a little painful, so I'm going to use my onion cutting glasses. Shut up, Ben. Then you want to chop up enough cilantro for three tablespoons. So you're going to stir in your cilantro, your tomatoes, your onion, your garlic, and you're just going to mix that all together. All right, well there is some guacamole, but hold on, you're not done yet. There's one other step and that's time. You put the guacamole into the fridge for one hour and the flavors are just gonna fill up in there. I know, that's tough to do. You wanna eat the guacamole right away. Look at it, it's sitting right there in the bowl. I wanna eat this guacamole. You don't wanna wait for the guacamole. You just made it and you wanna eat it, but you can't. You have to wait a little bit because it's not guacamole yet. The flavors haven't set in. Again, this guacamole dish is inspired by an episode of Superstore where Marcus gets his thumb cut off and it ends up in the guacamole. I got a chance to sit down with John Barinholtz, who plays Marcus, and talk to him on video chat about that episode. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, dude? Do you remember that episode where you got your thumb, where Marcus got his thumb cut off and it got stuck in the guacamole? Yes, I do. Cool, man, cool. They didn't really cut your thumb off for that, right? No, no, they didn't. Right, dude. Hey, man, thanks so much for stopping by. Okay, uh, cool. That's, yeah. that's it. That's it. Bye. Later, man. And an hour later, here you go. We got ourselves some guacamole. So let's give it a shot. Mm, that is some good guacamole. If you make some Superstore guacamole at home, be sure to take a picture of it and post it so I can check it out with the hashtag Superstore guacamole. Mm, that was good. Is that a thumb?